welcome to the Classical Gab Fest, a weekly discussion about the ever-changing world of classical music. Except this week, once again, it's not. I'm your host, William White, and my co-hosts, that's Tiffany Liu and Kencho Watanabe, and I are still all scattered doing all sorts of summer stuff that makes it too hard for us to schedule a call. So this week, once again, we have something different. As regular listeners will know, once a month we play a round of Name That Tune, which we also call Stump the Hosts. This is easily the most popular feature of our show among our most hardcore users. Not a week goes by that we don't get submissions to our well of Name That Tune submissions. And that's really saying something, since it takes a bit of work to make a 30-second audio clip and upload it to our form. I'm sure that the main source of enjoyment is hearing us bumble our way through the guesses as we try to find our way to a basket of three composers who might have written the piece in question. And here I'll just say that Tiffany has it exactly right when she says that this game is really Name That Composer. Our other game, Listening Limbo, is properly speaking Name That Tune, but that's neither here nor there. But I'm also sure that for many of you, the joy of the game is in playing along. So with that in mind, for our 100th episode, we're turning the tables on you, dear listeners. I'm now going to play three excerpts of classical music for you to try to identify. My intern Joey-style hint to you is that these are all works by the mainstreamest of mainstream classical composers, and I'm not even going to pull a schwindel on you by using juvenilia or something like that. These were written in these composers' prime earning years. Now, if you want to play by the house rules, you'll only listen to each excerpt one time. You can take notes while you're listening, and you should certainly pause for reflection after each one. But I'll just say that when we play the game, we only listen one time. That's for realsies. And obviously, no Googling or Shazamming, because where would the fun be in that? To play the game, send us an email to classicalgabfest at gmail.com with your best guesses. And remember, you can have three guesses in your quote-unquote basket for each excerpt. And you can also include any analysis or thoughts that you had along the way. We'll reveal the answers on our episode two weeks from now. And what do you get if you win? I don't know. Bragging rights? Public acknowledgement? Early in the podcast, we used to do a thing where we would invite listeners onto the show to play a game with us. It was not a very popular feature. Uh, It seems that you all much prefer to try to stump us from a distance. But if you get two out of your three baskets with the correct composer named, you are welcome to come on the show and play a game of your choosing with us, if if that uh, floats your boat. Okay, with no further ado... Here is the first Name That Tune, a.k.a. Stump the Listener's excerpt. This one, I would say, is the easiest. Some of you might even recognize it just by listening. Right, you've had your first excerpt. Here is excerpt number two. And finally, here is the third stumper, and this one I would say is the most stumpalicious. The composer is definitely somebody who you know, but there's much about this excerpt that obfuscates uh, naming that person. So good luck.
And now you've had your three excerpts. We very much look forward to hearing from you. Again, write us an email at classicalgabfest at gmail.com. And we really look forward to hearing what you have to say about these. Once again, the fun is as much in the deciphering and the figuring out and the thought processes as it is in actually naming the composer. And with that, it's time to wrap up this episode of the Classical Gabfest. I'm William White, and on behalf of Tiffany Liu and Kensho Watanabe, I'd like to thank you so much for listening and to encourage you to subscribe and rate us on your podcast app. We'd also love your help spreading the word about the show on social media, where you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can reach us at classicalgabfest at gmail.com, and we'd love to hear from you. Until next time, happy listening, and we'll be with you next week. Thank you.